Are you looking for a solution to build your community? This course is probably a perfect choice for you. Hi, in this session, we are going to have a look at the free open source software Discourse. We will have a look at what it is, how it can help you building your community and how to start using it. This course can be described as a modern discussion platform, the evolution of forums. Its main feature is to create discussions inside categories, but additional very useful exist around it, such as many authentication system, trust system, badges, emails, chat, and many more. In addition to the built-in functions, you can also add plugins and even create yours. This course is actively maintained on GitHub and has more than 37,000 stars on its main repository. Many big names are using it to manage their community, such as Epic Games, Figma and Atlassian. Let's have a look at the product itself to understand why it is such a success in the open source ecosystem. You have different options available to set up your own Discourse instance. The first one is to go to discourse.org, click on build your community and you have the pricing. You can create your own instance in the Discourse cloud very easily. The second option is to go to Discourse on GitHub, then to follow the instruction to set it up on your own server. And the way we will do it together is using LSTO, our platform, to set up uh, the instance in one click. And the main benefits are to have automatic backups and automatic updates. Hit login, deploy my first service, search for this course, select, then select your cloud provider, your region, your plan, hit next, Take the support you need, I will keep the default one, and hit create service. Now we will receive an email as soon as our instance is deployed and ready. So I just received the email telling me that the instance is ready. Go to click here to get the password. Once you land on the instance dashboard, you can copy the password to the clipboard and click here to get access to your instance. This is what you see when you arrive for the first time. Of course, there is already content provided by this course, but we are not logged in yet. So hit login, write root, which is the default account that Elastio creates, and paste the password from my clipboard and hit login. So now we have access to new content, which is the staff category because we are the administrator and because of the rights on that account, we have access to this content. As some default content is here, the most interesting one is the admin quick start guide. So let's have a look at it. On the top, we have a banner telling us to invite users, but I recommend you first to set up your instance and then invite people to join it. What does it tell? So getting started, the admin dashboard, which we will have a look later, the staff, which is what we saw when we logged in as the root admin. There are different types of staff, admins and moderators by default, but you can expand it. You can enable social logins, so either with uh, different providers like Google and Twitter, but you can also enable SSO. And also you can make it transparent for your users. If you have an application, you can just do a bridge with your token to automatically authenticate them. You can read more of it when you will want to set up your instance, but let's have a look at the admin panel. When you arrive, you have access to some metrics. So the signups, the topics, the, the posts. There is one signup, which is that account created by default. The topics and the posts are the one created also by default. So let's go to the settings. From there, you can customize a lot of things on your instance. It's very easy to customize. So let's name it LSTO and add some branding. So I will change the logo and I will also change the small logo, the icon. Perfect, I can apply it. And by default, it generates the other versions. Let's reload. And now we have our logo on the top. Um, 
you can see it's a bit zoomed in. It's because it's more visible to you when I record my screen. But it, by default, it looks like this. Okay, let's zoom it back. There are a lot of other options you can set up. You can set up the login option. So if you want invite only, uh, login required if you must approve users to be part of it. It is a very flexible and you can see that the creators think of almost everything. And if ever you have a use case not present on it because it's open source, you can upgrade it and fit to your needs. Let's have a look at users by default. There are those ones. You can search them based on different tags. You can export them, create groups. By default, there is the admins and moderators, which are part of the staff, if I'm correct. And you have a trust system. So if a user didn't post anything, didn't interact with the community, you won't let that person be able to create a new topic and you can specify your role to what you want to be in your community. There are also badges, which is a very good tool to engage your community because if you have rewards when you do some actions, your uh, users will more likely interact with others on the community and it will add life. So there are default ones, but of course you can create new and customize it as much as you need. There are a lot of other options such as email, you can customize it as much as you want. You have the logs of everything that happened on your instance, and this is very useful. Uh, you can customize it to what we did, but you can add more customization. Let's have a look at um, Unreal Engine Community. It looks very different from what we have, but it is discourse. So with some work, you can achieve same results or any results you want to do. You also have API and webhooks access. You can install plugins. So by default, there is this one, but there is a guide on how to install plugins. And what is great is that uh, this guide comes comes from Discourse Community, and Discourse Community is a Discourse instance. So you can follow it and everything is explained and you can also find uh, plugins. So let's dive into the main part of it, which is the topic creation and writing content. So you can spread it into different categories. Um, you can create your categories and explain what it is, what to say, in inside what not to say but let's start just by creating a basic topic by default it's a short uh, version so let's expand it a great thing is that you can use a markdown bb code or html so it's quite handy based on the way you like to create posts welcome to the community i want it to be bold uh, enjoy the time here. Are you happy to be here? And there are some plugins available by default, like the poll. So yes, no, I insert it. Oh, we don't have the preview yet because uh, here we have a getting started guide. I think you can edit it, but it, the default one. So let's close it. And here we have the preview with the poll available. Okay, so let's hit create topic. And it's telling me that a title is required. So welcome to LSTO community. Create it. It automatically open the post, but we can also see it in the list of the general topics. Here it is. In addition to that, you also have a different way of communicating. So you can create on a profile and either send a message to uh, the inbox of the user. So right here. Or you can also write direct messages in the chat. Hello. You have access to it um, here in inbox or the chat here and you can write the user names here and select them from the list. 
Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed discovering this community platform tool. We will soon cover other alternatives such as Flareum and NodeBB, so don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel to be notified when it's released. To discover more free open source software that can help you in your business and projects, I highly recommend you to watch this video here.